Hey everybody, it's Mike Toledo. Tanya Toledo. And we are the Toledo Group. Um, today we wanted to talk about, it's not something that always comes up, but just acoustics in a house, right? When, when, when you live in your house, uh, the sounds and the ambient sounds in your house are a certain way. Um, mostly that's because your house is full and it's full of stuff, it's full of kids and, and all the things that are there and that helps to dampen the acoustics. Uh, when you're selling a house, oftentimes we want to start decluttering. We're going to stage a house. Sometimes you've moved out of the house and the house is vacant and we're going to stage it and we get a lot of echo issues. Um, you know, you're showing a house and somebody's downstairs talking and the kids are upstairs. The idea that the noise carries so strongly through a house can be a turnoff to some people. And, and, and we had a house recently where they said, God, I mean, I can, I can hear you downstairs, upstairs. So to combat those acoustic issues, staging the house is really important, filling it with furniture. These, these pieces of furniture are made out of cloth and material, and cloth and material absorb sound. Um, rugs are a really great way to dampen the echoing sound of, let's say, heels walking on a second floor. Truth is, is when your wife comes home, she's probably not going to be pounding around on the second floor in high heels, but she is on Sunday open house. And you might not think that today's sound is unique because she's upstairs with high heels and it's not going to be like that normally. But in that moment, the only thing you're thinking is, wow, the sound transfers pretty strongly from second floor to first floor. I don't want to buy this house. So we got to do things to help make sure that those things don't happen. Like take off your shoes, put on some booties in the house so you can see what a house really sounds like when you're living in it. As opposed to letting people walk through with boots and high heels and, and, and it might as well have them tap dancing in the house. <laughs> it's not going to be favorable during a showing, especially pre-pandemic when you would have as many as two or three different groups in a house. You could have four kids running upstairs, a couple downstairs, and it really just gives you the idea that you don't want to buy this house if it's too noisy. So we have to do certain things to dampen the acoustics. We might not think matters, but it does. Because, you know, who wants to live in a house where you feel like you can hear everything through a wall or, or somebody, the kids are upstairs, you know, you want to relax downstairs and watch something or you want to watch a movie and the kids are sleeping upstairs. How do I know that that noise doesn't transfer?